Okay, culture lovers and television freaks, time now on this edition of the RNTV Club for Should I Bother? This is where we go back to season one, episode one of a much hyped television series and decide does it live up to its reputation? Has it dated? And of course, should I bother having a binge fest? and going on with the rest of the season. With us is Mark Humphreys, Dan Barrett and Melanie Tate. Mark, in 25 words or less, what's this about? Well, the show is Friday Night Lights and it takes us uh, behind the scenes of a high school football team in Texas. Now, who gives a flying F about that, you might be asking? (laughs) Well, actually I do. It's one of those things where on paper the concept sounds so uninteresting especially to an Australian audience but like anything like Breaking Bad with you know a teacher making crystal meth or whatever actually you know the characters and the drama is so strong that it really carries this show so I strongly heartily endorse Friday Night Lights. <laughs> All right well here's a scene from the very beginning uh, Matt Saracen is leaving home on a Monday morning early in the morning he's leaving his grandmother who he lives with behind he's the reserve quarterback for this team. Okay, Grandma, I made you two tuna fish sandwiches and I put your medicine in the green Gatorade, okay? The green Gatorade, but I only want one sandwich. Well, then just eat one. Well, but you made two and I just want one. No, no, no. Uh, I'll eat the other one when I get home from practice, okay? You'll be hungry after that good old practice. Yeah. <laughs> you. I adore. <laughs> Oh, Melanie <laughs> Tate. <Anna> Saracen. That <laughs> is not beautiful? how you'd expect a TV series about a football team to start. No, you don't. But one of the things about this show is it's really about family and relationships and not just family relationships. Like there you had a beautiful example of one of the beautiful relationships in this show. Matt Saracen is being looked after by his nana, but he's really looking after his nana. His nana has dementia. Yeah, I mean, yes, the, the emotional, it's, it's, it's an extraordinary combination of the emotional uh, relationship drama combined with football and sport yeah. and all that and, that and this whole town that is behind this yeah. high school team I think about you know about high schoolers you know in Australia who who would care about you know what they get up to on the on a Friday night uh, but really this it's it's an amazing you know exploration of that little little world but yes the emotional heart to it and also coach Taylor played by Carl Chandler and uh, and his wife uh, played by Connie Britton uh, uh, sort of the emotional heart of the show and present a family dynamic which I found really refreshing on television is really very wholesome but not not in a kind of sickly sweet way but it's sort of a, a relationship you wish you could um, you emulate know, yes. yeah they're fa- I named my dog after Tammy Taylor like that's <laughs> how much I love this show it began life as a, a non-fiction novel in 1990 and it was based on a town in West Texas called Odessa it then became a movie in 2004 with Billy Bob with Billy Bob Thornton it's a critique of a small town, a very religious one, not necessarily a wealthy one at all. This town of Dillon, Texas is on fire. Okay, spoiler alert, there is a big shock in the middle of this uh, pilot episode where suddenly Matt Saracen has to step up because uh, there's been a tragedy on the field. He's down on the ground. He is down. Who is that, Street? That's Street. Street And he's not moving. That was a heck of a hit. It's very quiet here in this stadium. I think it's a spinal injury. I'm not sure yet, but he has been. Can you squeeze my hands for me, buddy? Squeeze it. Can you move your feet for me? All right, so we'll try to get him on the back floor real quick. Let's keep him steady, guys. Let's keep him steady. I've seen the pilot three times, and watching it again just the other day, i got to say I got a little teary. It's horrible watching this boy's career this street uh, Jason Street you know being destroyed in an instant and you could see it in the faces of his uh, parents and his girlfriend and just his the, whole whole, community. the whole community the town, yeah. yeah and the whole community exactly is riding on this quarterback because they want that championship uh, and so uh, it's an it, it, but it's, but at the same time it's also a wonderful setup for Matt Saracen's character to step in and have to, to fill those shoes uh, you know when he when he really doesn't look like he he's up to it and I think it's at that point in the pilot that actually becomes a bit of a magical pilot where up until that point I sort of I I was really put off by the football aspect of it I'm not a sports guy and I've kind of seen that football story before and so many American films 
But you reach this point in the show where suddenly the show starts doing something different, which is that you see the accidents take place on mm. the field and then the show takes its narrative course in an entirely different direction mm. and that's when it becomes exciting. You realise that this is something quite special. I was reminded of Rumblefish, the, the film. I was reminded of Traffic, the film. It's very gritty. It's a very kind of dirty realist uh, American taste. Um, just before we leave it, any final, you know, final kind of thoughts of its legacy? I don't think it's really going to see its relevance for quite a few years at this point. It's a show that did terribly ratings wise. Mm. It didn't really quite catch the cultural sort of zeitgeist in that sort of exciting way when the show was actually going to where it's got a loyal fan base behind. But I think it's maybe that loyal fan base that in about 10 or 15 years, when they were in Hollywood mm. making their own projects, that's when you're really going to start seeing the ramifications of this show. Cult TV, uh, Twin Peaks of the Future, Mark Humphreys. Yeah, and I hope programs like this can help mm. it. <laughs> because, Find its because, natural because, well, audience. Yeah, I just want more people to talk about it uh, but also the other thing I loved about this show is similar to like The Shield or Breaking Bad that, that when it reaches its end you're very satisfied with that ending mm, like a good novel mm. <laughs> alright well that's Friday Night Lights it's getting a pretty uh, all round thumbs up i got to say for a football TV series Clear I eyes. liked it a lot Full, Full hearts, hearts can't, can't lose, lose. <laughs>